Do you know a doctor? Do you know a nurse? Do you know a veterinarian? Do you know a dentist? Do you know a friend that knows a? Do you know a neighbor that knows a? Do you know a family member that knows a? Would you like to make 500 up to $2,000 every time the doctor writes a prescription? We want you. We're looking for you. Contact us today. How you been feeling, Mr. Brown? Pretty good. It's a scenario that plays out thousands of times a day in America. A doctor writes a prescription, and then the patient takes it to the pharmacist who fills it with a manufactured drug that is FDA approved. However, there are some people for whom this scenario does not work. Patients with special drug needs that can't be filled by FDA approved drugs. It's these patients who benefit from the practice known as compounding. Well, compounding is when a pharmacist prepares a product following the instructions of a licensed prescriber, uh, generally when the product is not available off the shelf. Traditionally, compounding was part of the time-honored relationship between doctor, patient, and pharmacist. The pharmacist modified a medicine to a doctor's specific prescription, adding or mixing ingredients to arrive at a custom drug aimed at a specific patient's needs. Today, more than 30 million prescription drugs are compounded annually, many by honest, hard-working pharmacists who provide a much-needed service to their patients, people who depend on compounded drugs as a medical necessity. She was about five and a half months old. She woke up in the middle of the night with a terrible cough, and by the next night, she was um, on a ventilator in the intensive care unit. What we discovered was that she had some rare anomalies, including um, she only had one lung and a very narrow trachea. So she went through extensive surgery to repair the airway. She was just so susceptible to infections, um, constantly getting sick. The antibiotics prescribed that any other parent can just go to the pharmacy and get were not going to work for her. So we had to have compounded medications. and. Um, I, don't, I don't know what we would have done otherwise. In this case, it's easy to see the importance of compounding and how it meets the medical need of an individual patient. But for all the good being done, patients may be exposed to dangers when using some compounded drugs. Here are some things to remember about compounded drugs and the pharmacies that make them. Compounded drugs are not FDA approved they have not been proven safe and effective by the FDA. There are both risks and benefits associated with them. Know why you're taking a compounded drug over a conventional prescription medication. A pharmacy's FDA registration does not guarantee that its drugs are approved or its products are made under the stringent conditions required by FDA. Doctors should not substitute compounded drugs for FDA approved ones unless there is a patient-specific medical necessity. Doctors should make it clear to the patient and pharmacist when a drug is to be compounded and why it is medically necessary. If you notice that the compounded product you receive from your pharmacy tastes, smells, or looks unusual, do not take it and report it to the pharmacy immediately. Over time, many pharmacies have stopped the once standard practice of compounding and now simply dispense medications. Pharmacy compounding is the method of preparing medications which are tailored to the specific requirements of each patient and healthcare provider. Compounding pharmacists focus on meeting special needs and solving medication problems. 
Working with a physician or dentist or veterinarian, we prepare customized medications and unique dosage forms in a special compounding laboratory. We work closely with the prescriber to ensure the choice of therapy is both safe and in the best interest of the patient in order to receive the personalized care they deserve. There are several reasons to compound prescription medications. The most important reason is non-compliance. Many patients are unable to take medications properly if they are allergic to preservatives or dyes or are sensitive to standard drug strengths and their side effects. The ultimate goal in preparing these customized medications is to help the healthcare provider and the patient achieve a more positive therapeutic outcome. By definition, prescription compounding is preparing medication for a single patient based on their individual prescription, not making large bulk quantities for stock. Some examples of compounding applications include patients requiring limited dosage strengths, such as a very small dose for a child, patients requiring a different formulation, such as turning a pill into a liquid or transdermal gel for people who cannot swallow pills, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, pain management, patients requiring an allergen-free medication, such as one without gluten or colored dyes, patients who need drugs that have been discontinued by pharmaceutical manufacturers because of low profitability, patients facing a supply shortage of their normal drug, medicated lollipops. Veterinary medicine, including flavored medicated treats or even ear gels that carry medication through the skin to avoid the difficulty of administering oral medications. These are just a few examples.